Hey guys, BrickWizard59 here. Today I want to come at you with another awesome custom review. And this is from Spider-Man 2. And this is, of course, Doc Ock's Bank Heist. And so you can see here, this is a bit of a more unique build here. As this is a um, smaller, kind of like snippet of the larger scene from the movie. But of course here, um, the one big um, difference is, of course, that this is been made using like sideways plates all across with the um so like yeah the bricks are basically laid or laid down sideways but you can see here we of course have Doc Ock um as he is trying to um try to um get the money from the bank but of course Spider-Man is there to help so for this review um I'm going to do it a bit different I'm going to do it in more of a Lego set review style way in which I do, of course, a review of this and then also of the individual figures and um, features like that. But without further ado, let's take a look. Alright, so first off, just take a quick spin around of the entire building here. So, of course, we have our um, part of the road, our sidewalk, and then our main bank here in the back. And so we'll do a quick spin around here. Just take a look at all the different sides of the mock. Here is the side view. You can already see the inside of the bank vault. Here on the back, we have a better look at the bank there. Moving to the other side, just a, another view of all the action and the bank. And then moving back onto the front. And that is actually where we are going to start off. So, of course, again, you could see here, um, this mock here has four figures in it here. We, of course, have our um, NYPD police officer. We have our bank worker. We have, of course, Doc Ock in his um, out new outfit here. And then Spider-Man here in the corner. So, in the front, you could see, of course, that um, Doc Ock is... Um, definitely raging havoc in the city as he's already knocked down one of our um, uh, lampposts and you can see Spider-Man is trying to tame him by shooting some web and trying to trap him. You of course have your police officer here trying to apprehend Doc Ock as well. And then of course this set does have some nice custom items by me here with the police do not cross signs there as they have tried to uh, quarantine the zone and one of our um, bystanders of course the bank commissioner who um, has almost uh, been hit by that lamppost but then you could see of course we have of course the two spots with the lamppost and then this uh, patch of grass in the middle just to add a bit more of a um, nicer feel because usually in front of banks they're like fancy trees and all that kind of stuff just to make it look a lot nicer um, and then in the top we of course have Peter Parker's uh, camera there which is taking pictures of the action and then in the back we of course have the bank and so we'll actually get into a bit more of a deep, uh, deeper look when I remove all the figures but first off we'll take a look at the inside of the bank so here it is, and it's definitely um, not too big, but definitely um, gets the job done here. So we, of course, have our door leading into the bank, and then we have a small um, table here, which includes, of course, a small computer there. And so if you want to make any withdrawals or anything, <clears throat> you can do the. And then, of course, here we have a nice uh, portrait there. And then moving over here, we of course have our main bank vault. And on the inside here, we of course have, it's not terribly detailed. We do of course have some money over here. I'll actually remove that so you can get a better look at that. Um, just one second. There you go. So you can see that. And these are all custom printed um, or custom decaled. Uh, money towels by me um, So they look really nice and I think actually a lot better than the Legos money that they have 
also gives it a more of a realistic tone as well. But yeah, so that's pretty much the inside of the bank. Actually, to make this, I did take a bit of ideas from the uh, old 2005 Doc Ox Bank High Set, which had a similar styled bank. So I thought that was pretty good uh, and definitely used that as well. And now moving back on to the front. Alright, so I just removed all the figures so you can get a better view, of course, of the entire mock here. We, of course, have the sidewalk and the uh, road. And then you can just get a better look at that bank there with the arched um, parts, um, just to give it a bit more of an architectural style. And then, of course, you have... Peter Parker's web there, which can move up and down, and of course has that camera. But yeah, now let's take a quick look at our figs. Alright, so here are our figures in this set. And going from left to right, we of course have our bank commissioner here. We have our NYPD officer, who is a bit of a custom um, build here. You can of course see he does have his gun belt. Then Spider-Man here, and I did decide to use the older Spider-Man version because this was, of course, in those Spider-Man 2 sets back in 2005. And lastly, a customized Doc Ock here as he is um, in his, um, like, trench coat. And you can see his arms there, which are missing the top parts there. Um, but yeah, so these are our four minifigures. And that's going to do it for the review of my custom Lego Doc Ox Bank Heist mock. And so, of course, I want to thank everyone for watching this custom review. And so, if you definitely like Spider-Man 2 or this mock in general, please give this video a thumbs up as it did take some time to make. And, of course, do not forget to subscribe for more Lego superhero mocks to come in the future. So, this is BrookWizard59. I want to thank you for watching. And stay tuned for more LEGO videos coming soon. <clears throat> but anyway, this is Brookwizard59, and I'll see you guys next time.